Hey, what's up, everyone? Got another video for y'all today, and it's gonna be talking about um, the PlayStation 4. And we did get some confirmation from um, Yoshida, who says that the PlayStation 4 will support 4K, but it will not support 4K for the video games. It will support 4K videos and photos. So, if anyone has a 4K TV, <laughs> which is like $20,000, you'll be able to watch 4K video and look at 4K f photos on your PlayStation 4. And <laughs> we already know that um, 4K like is not going to be available to a lot of us right now. So it will be, you know, once 4K TV start going, going down in price in the future and whatnot, um, Sony's already going to be um, supporting it you know later on down the line so um, yeah we're not gonna get 4k video games but we will get 4k videos and you know able to look at um, your photos in 4k and also with the 3d because we if you remember you know a couple years ago uh, with the PlayStation 3 Sony was trying you know this whole big thing about with um, 3D TV, um, yeah, 3D TV, 3D games, uh, 3D movies, 3D cameras, and all this other stuff. But they see that, you know, you know, outside of movies, you know, at the movie theater, 3D isn't really that popular. So they stepped away from that, and they're going on to the next thing, which is, you know, 4K. And you know, they're getting ready to, you know, like I said, support. 4K with videos and um, pictures. But um, a quote that he said about 3D, he said, "It's not a focus, but it does it. It does do it better. The basic capability is higher, so more games will run at 1080p at 60 frames per second. So it's an easier and better experience when you watch on 3D TV. So." Um, even just from that, from him saying that, it seems like um, there will be games that's going to be 1080p and 60 frames per second. Uh, he also says that, you know, if you're looking uh, with a 3D TV, it will be, you know, better than, you know, with the PlayStation 3. Uh, um, and I'm going to have an article to, to for all of this in the description so y'all yeah, can check it out and whatnot. Um, and there's other quotes that he says in here um, that y'all can look at it as well um, but what I think about it um, right now I'm not really too concerned about you know 4k you know especially with games and whatnot you know I, as of right now I could you know it would be good for them to make games 1080p and 60 frames per second you know once they get that down and that's a standard um, they can you know worry about 4k TVs and for video games supporting 4k later on down the line especially when 4k TVs become much more cheaper and um, accessible for you know the average consumer but for it to be able to support videos and photos I guess that's fine you know I don't really see a problem with that um, as long as you know it's not you know being able to do that it's not making the console more expensive, you know. As long as it's able to do that with, you know, whatever they already got, hey, I'm I'm fine with that already. And with the 3D, I wasn't, I don't even have a 3D TV as well. I just have a regular HD TV. So um, 3D, I mean, if it if it does it better, that's good. You know, there's people who do, do have 3D TVs and whatnot. They would like to, you know, continue, you know, play their games in 3D. So if you know the 3D is an option, and it's just a simple add-on and whatnot for the games. That's not gonna, again, increase the cost for development and whatnot. Hey, then I, I say you know just go for it, and whatnot. But um, yeah, that's all I have to really say about my thoughts about um, 4K and the 3D. So, um, what do y'all guys think about it and whatnot? You know, write it down in the comment section and everything. But as always, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.